Hello everyone and welcome to The Painting Paladin. My name is Justin and today we are working on another model from the pile. Now we're going to be working on a Dwarven Cleric from the Reaper Minis Bones line. Now I got this model at Adepticon as part of the swag bag and the reason I'm telling you this is because this model has not been made available to the public yet. However, when it is released, you will already have a handy painting guide. So without further ado, let's head on over to the paint desk and get started, shall we? Alright, now before we begin, I undercoated this model with Gray Sear Spray. Now the first color that we're going to be using is Bugman's Glow, and that's to paint all of the exposed skin areas. Okay, with that layer of Bugman's on, the next color that we're going to be using is Cadian Flesh Tone, and that's going to be painted right on over that. The next color that we're going to be using is Reichlin Flesh Shade, and that's to give an all-over wash all over that skin that we painted. Now that the wash is dry, the next color that we're going to be using is Cadian Flesh Tone again, but this time we're only going to be painting the raised areas, avoiding the deep recesses where the shade had settled. Moving on, with the skin done, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be Lead Belcher. Now we're just using this to paint all of the armor, the weapon, and the shield. The next color that we're going to be using is Steel Legion Drab. Now we're going to use this to paint the boots and the little change pouch that's on our uh, belt. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Gorthor Brown. Now we're going to be using this to paint the straps that are on the back of the boots there, as well as her belt.
Alright, so the next color that we're going to be using is Kildor Sky, and that's to paint the cloth that's around her waist there. Next, we are going to be using the color Abaddon Black, and that's to paint the handle on the hammer, the axe that's on the shield, and the little handle for the shield. Okay, moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Nolan Oil, and that's to give everything a wash except for the skin that we had painted. Alright, with that done, this model is coming along nicely. Now the next color that we're going to be using is Iron Breaker. Now just like with we, what we did with the skin, we're only going to be painting this on the raised areas, avoiding those deep recesses. We're also only going to be painting this color on the plate armor, so we're not going to be painting the hammer, the shield, or that chainmail that's on the waist there. Next, we're going to be using Kildor Sky again to paint that cloth. However, this time, we're only going to be applying it as a light dry brush. Okay, so the next color that we're going to be using is Xandri Dust, and we're only using this to paint her hair. Once that's Andrew Dust is dry, we can move on to the next color, and that's going to be Seraphim Sepia. Now we're just going to give the hair an all over wash with this. All right, with that done, we can move on to our next color, and that's going to be Gray Seer. Now we're just using this to paint a layer all over that tabard cloth around her waist and the inside of the shield.
With that done, the next color that we're going to be using is the contrast paint, Apothecary White. And that's just going to be painted right on over those gray areas we just finished. All right, with that done, the next color that we're going to be using is Ulfwan Gray. Now we're going to be painting this on all the raised areas, avoiding those deep recesses where the contrast paint had settled, and on the flat areas of the face of the shield, avoiding the areas where the metal part meets the face. Okay, with that done, there's just a few more steps to go. Now the next color that we're going to be using is Retributor Armor, and we're going to be painting all of the gold areas, which is the pendant around her neck, the circlet around her head, the bottom of the hammer, um, the belt buckle there, any of those small details that we haven't painted yet. All right, with that applied, the next color that we're going to be using is Reichland Flesh Shade. However, we're only going to be applying it to the belt buckle, the circlet on her head, and the bottom of the hammer. With that Reichlin Flesh Shade dried, we can move on to our next color, and that's actually going to be Retributor Armor again. Now just like before, we're only going to be painting the raised areas, avoiding the deep recesses where the shade had settled. With that done, the next color that we're going to be using is Talisar Blue, and that's just to paint the little gem on the pendant. With that pendant all finished up, the cleric herself is actually finished. However, this model comes with a base. So we're going to get to work on painting the base now. Now the first color we're going to be using for this is Mechanicus Standard Gray. Next, we're going to give the base an all-over wash of Nolan Oil. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, we're going to do a dry brush of Dawnstone all over that rock. With that, this model is all finished up. Now all you need to do is decide if you want to put this model on a base so it's less likely to get knocked over or not. this model all finished up, our cleric is ready to go on adventuring. Now a few things to remember when painting your model. The first is I planned out my colors ahead of time because I already had an idea of what I wanted her to look like. Planning your colors out is a helpful thing to do when painting a model like this. Another thing is to take your time to avoid making any mistakes. But if you make any mistakes, you can always go back to your previous colors and correct it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date with future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.